bacon cheddar beignet. Claws are so freaking sharp. There's New Orleans for you. going on guys Andy Gabs back for another video I hope you guys enjoyed vlog 100 that was super fun to film fun to edit uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it but now we are back to uh, your regular program I mean I guess everything is your regular program technically but uh, we are at beignet fest here in New Orleans so there's like 20 different beignet restaurants it's also probably pretty loud there's a, a band behind me playing but we're just gonna try a bunch of different beignets walk around and see what they have it's at the City Park Fairgrounds. It's actually really, really cool. This park is huge. Um, but yeah, we're gonna walk around, try a bunch of different stuff, and show you guys some really good food. So if you're hungry or diabetic, I suggest you turn this off. Just kidding, don't turn it off. Babe, so we're gonna try the Chipotle one, right? We're gonna get the Chipotle one to start. So this is from Howlin' Wolf Den uh, at Beignet Fest, and it's a bacon cheddar beignet with Chipotle crema. So that's the first one. Uh, I think this one either like last year or the year before is the best overall beignet. So they have best sweet, best savory, and then best overall. And I think this one won best overall. I read online, holy shit, it's hot. Um, I'll bring it right back, it's too hot to eat. We broke them in half to make them cool off faster. It's cool enough. For who? For you, dip it. Ow, it's hot, my fingers. She's being a baby. Oh, the jalapeno? Yeah. Uh, I guess it doesn't say, but like. No, it says bacon cheddar beignets, but there's definitely chunks of jalapeno in there. I approve. I think it's really good. You like it? She thinks it's man, but she also doesn't like spicy, so she's not a good well, judge. It's for... not spicy. It's just. But you don't like jalapenos either. Well, yeah, I don't know. I think it's really good. Um, now we're gonna move on and just kind of go down the line. Like I said, there's a whole bunch of different places. There's probably like 20, I would say. Um, but that one was really good. But now, let's move on to another spot. And so next up, we got some sweet ones. These are cinnamon sugar beignets. They are from The Vintage in downtown New Orleans. So we went from savory to sweet. I mean, you can't really go wrong. It's fried dough with cinnamon and sugar on it. It's really good. It's really good. Uh, I think we're gonna walk to the end because there's two that I wanna try. Bananas Foster and then one with like pulled pork and something on it, I don't know. They look really good though, I saw people walking around. Uh, so we gotta walk right down to the end and then go get those real quick. So these next ones are from Ruby Slipper Cafe. Uh, it's a pork cochon and hollandaise beignet and then bananas fosters beignet. Um, so you can't go wrong. Which one you wanna try first? I think this. You wanna try that one first? Sweet. All right, so we're gonna do the pork first. Hold on, we gotta like. Oh yeah, how do you do this? Just I think I'm just gonna grab it. Yeah, fuck Here, it. just, can you just pull it out? There should be two, there should oh, be another one under there. Oh, okay. Yeah, get some of that hollandaise. All right, here we go. That's good. I didn't think it would be. I can only see beignets as sweet. Mm -hmm. mm. But it helps the pork, it's good. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm trying not to eat and talk. Oh, I just got dirt. Yeah, All right, that was super, super good. Come back for that. She's gonna come back, all right. And then the next one, like I said, Bananas Foster. I definitely like that one better than the um, bacon chipotle yeah, one. Yeah, for sure. It was like um, really soft. Yeah. So Bananas Foster is like one of my favorite desserts, so I'm gonna be kind of biased. Uh, and I know this is gonna mine. be good. Yeah, she doesn't like it. Oh yeah. There's no way you don't like that. Mm. <laughs> At first it was too much banana, but... Yeah. That's good. That's really good. I need to go get a water though. Um, it's just like 8,000 degrees out right now. I'm gonna die. And then we'll try a couple more places. All right, so Kelsey had this genius dumb, AKA idea, 
She's gonna eat a cinnamon beignet with the pulled pork on it. And I have to eat the bananas foster beignet with the pulled pork on it. So obviously that's not really gonna be good. Really? But uh, she calls it the, the Kelsey beignet, so I'm just gonna go for it. Actually, it might not be that bad, but. See, I just know it's wrong. But it's not horrible. It's not good. I'm still like trying to work it down. What? Oh, a bug just landed on Kelsey. Alright, I'm going to throw it away. Yeah, we're going to throw these away and then wait in a super long line for a crazy snowball. So a little change of plans. Uh, Scarlett started to get fussy and that line was huge. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can hear her. She's crying right now. It's uh, it's way too hot to have her out here. It's probably 100 plus degrees with the this humidity. This is a festival you have like during Christmas. Yeah, I mean like anything needs to be during like Christmas or December time frame here. Uh, it's just, it's too hot to like do shit outside. So, change of plans, we are gonna go do something else. I don't know what we're gonna do yet, but we will figure it out. Instead of the beignet fest, like I said, it was just too hot to be outside and it was just miserable, it was way too hot. Um, so we decided to come to a, kind of, they kind of have every animal, I guess, but Kelsey's in love with that little bunny. Uh, it's not coming home with us, but. Scarlett wants it. She said Scarlett wants it, I don't think that's true. Um, but yeah, this place is pretty sweet. They got a lot of stuff. Um, we went to one other reptile shop before and it was not very uh, not very good, not very clean or anything like that. But I figured I'd just walk around and show you guys kind of some of the cool stuff that they have here. They have one animal that I really want to get. So I said the rabbit wasn't coming home with us, but this guy just, he just might. Look at how cute. Still a little bit squirmy, kind of squirrely, but look at him. His claws are so freaking sharp, but so pretty. And if you guys don't know, these guys get pretty sizable, like probably 36 inches long, but really heavy bodied. They get like that big around, I would say. Um, super cool, and this place has them for $160, which is insanely cheap. Um, usually these guys are in like the, the 250 to 350 range but super, super cool. They have tons of exotic fish and they have like really cool stuff. I feel like uh, Eric would love it here. They have some insane stuff. I'll show you guys some of the cooler stuff or some of the stuff that I think is cooler, I guess. So like I was saying, some cool fish. Look at this guy. I can't read what it says. It's some sort of puffer fish. Um, I obviously know that, but like, look at how cool he is. It says like M-A-U or something like that. And he's like very curious, like no matter where you walk, he like follows the camera around and he follows people around. Cause I was over on the other side, of course he didn't do it right now, but I was over on the other side and he was following me around too. But so cool dude. Some eels right there, different cichlids. These guys are pretty badass, big old arowanas. Really cool spotted stingrays. There's two of them in there. Yeah, this place is uh, definitely pretty badass, so I definitely think I found my, my go-to herp shop and uh, fish store too. So maybe soon I'll have a video getting something, maybe a little fish tank or I don't know, but getting something for sure. Uh, yeah, so that's 50 Fathoms Pet Store. Uh, doesn't look very fancy on the outside, but once you go inside, it's actually super cool as you guys saw. Um, not sure what else we have planned for the day. I know we're about to go to the mall. Whatever we end up doing, I'll bring you guys along. So I won't lie, it's been like a week since we went to that reptile shop and since we went to Beignet Fest, but my dad is out here right now, uh, somewhere right there. So we're just kind of showing him around downtown New Orleans right now. Right now we're on Bourbon Street, um, and this is the busiest I've ever seen it. I don't know why there's so many people here right now. Um, I don't know if you guys have saw in the news probably by now that a building collapsed here in New Orleans, and it collapsed right down the street from where we are. Um, I think there was two fatalities so far. Very, very sad, but right now, like I said, we're on Bourbon Street and it is packed right now, so we're just gonna walk around and I'll finish this video up by just kind of showing you around uh, downtown New Orleans and anything that we do. I'll show you guys around and yeah, we'll just have a good time.
There's New Orleans for you.